Hey guys, so I wanted to make a tutorial for this game for a very long time and today is the day I will start with it. So in this video I will probably just capture like the tutorial like and then world one, world two and so on. So I just go over all the movements that you do in this game or that you can do in this game and different ways you can complete this this stage like th those four tutorial stages so of course there's normal walking like you press right left not for normal walking obvious so then there is then there are backflips they are a bit complicated to execute I'm ain't lying and it's ve it's really difficult um, at first to um, like get good backflips but how backflips basically work you um, for example if you want to backflip to the left you want to um, walk to the right and then press left and A like A for jump, L for the direction you want to go in so I just demonstrate it real quick so walking right press left A I do a left backflip and of course if you want to do the right back right back flip you just do it like the other way around I walk left and then right left right back flip right left back flip so in getting that like um, like really fast uh, in a row is kinda difficult at first so right walking to the right left A uh, back flip to the left um, you can like you don't have to walk like far to the right to be able to do a, a left um, left um, backflip you just have to walk a few frames and then you are able to like backflip you don't even like like see I didn't even really walk to the left like I just was like like I, like I just went for a small step to the left and then I um, backflipped back to the right so I sh show that again like now I'm walking to the right backflip so now I press to the left for a small bit and then instantly right A so that's 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 a bit tough at the beginning so you have to figure it, that out a bit like it's it's really hard to explain to be honest like but it's really like it's self explanatory if you play this game a bit so um next thing like i wanna show are like handsprings like handsprings are these jumps they were actually pretty easy to do like you just press down a to go into like handspring mode then if you wait long your boost from the handspring will go away so if you wanna get the boost you have to press instantly at when you hit the ground uh, you have to press like A to jump to get the boost like I can demonstrate it real quick see like I got a boost and with this boost you can do a double handspring like handspring oh, I messed it up <laughs> like handspring and when, he when you do a handspring and hit the ground the second time you can do a double handspring that's really easy and don't even really have to figure out that to be honest like it's pretty easy but there are like um, other form of backflips also which are like really difficult to do and is really advanced stuff but I just so showed real quick so you can do like like they are called gainers so you basically gainers are basically um, how do I explain this good in a good way so gainers are basically um, like um, you backflip in in the direction you walk into by moving like for a short period of t like you walk to the right and then you turn for milliseconds to the left and then you do a backflip in that direction that's really difficult to explain but I just showed off it's 
like I walk to the right now I want to backflip to the right right now so I go to the right press left for a short amount of time and then I press right backflip uh, right A I mean so I, that backflip that I just did there wasn't the gainer I, I will demonstrate it here it's, it's really a dumb level to demonstrate this shit so right so that was a, like not a perfect gainer but uh, it was a gainer basically but a perfect gainer would look like this that was a perfect gainer like that, that's really difficult to do like I can show it on like here that was a gainer for example they are not easy to do like and you don't really want to mess around with them at, uh, at um, like when you first start with this game but you should sure if you want to get really good at this game you should sure look into them but you don't really need them in that many cases like even at this current level there are many places like even I don't do any gainer strat like there are a few gainer strats that I do but most of them I don't but when I get the WR I want to implement them in the run but there are like Gainers are like really finicky, so you, you don't really want to mess around with them when you first start playing this game, and it's really unnecessary to be honest. So, like now I show like different ways you can do the first stage here. So, if you first start out, you would like I started no, a new, uh, like I, I restarted real quick here. I should actually be doing this on an emulator, but you want to backflip to the right, and you w basically want to do this. That was actually a, a bit advanced there, like I do it again. So, you wanna do the stage like this. Right, left, right, left. That's the easiest way, the easiest way you can do this stage. That's basically the easiest way. Walking to the right, making a ba left backflip. Then a right backflip, then walking a bit to the right, left backflip, left backflip. It's really, really easy. Not, not that difficult. But when you first start learning this game, I would really, like, I would really, like, if you know how to backflip correctly in this game, that's that's like it. Like you have to get good at backflipping. That's really important, and it's not that difficult to achieve to be honest um, there are also like I've completely forgot to mention that um, there are also like um, backflips that you can do that just don't go in any direction like I can show it real quick so I basically backflips like straight up and th it's really difficult to explain but it's all self-explanatory if you pr play this game a bit like in like there is not really like much I can say about like s th those movements because you ha all have to figure out that by yourself basically. But I just wanna show you my um, like my way like so an advanced strat for this stage f would be like doing three backflips like this. Like that wasn't optimized, but you get the idea. Like you do like three backflips in a row. So this stage that comes up here is actually um, when you first start learning this game really difficult. Like um, you have to be really fast at back flipping to the left. So I will show it real quick how it works. Like left back flip, then you walk to the right, left back flip, walk to the right, left back flip. That you basically do. And if you're too slow with doing those back flips, you basically um, get hit by the fire by the fire dude or whatever you wanna call it. So and there is not really any other way you can do this stage. There is a way which is like really unreliable and it's more like of an advanced strat and it doesn't even save time. So it's really unnecessary. It's the only way you can do this stage. And how this basic the stage basically works, you walk to the right so you can like backflip to the left after you backflip to the left, you walk to the right again to be able to backflip again to the left. And that you basically do like four times in a row so that you can complete the stage. So that's basically it to this stage. But it's really difficult at first. So this stage, 
Well, actually, I want to save something first. So, what's really important when you first learn this game, you can save like a lot of time if you just not n don't die. So some strats, when you really just, it depends on what you want. If you want to get a really good time, go for insane strats. Like if you, if you wanna get really good at this game. But if you don't wanna get like super good at this game, just try to not die. Like many of the, like many strats that you do in this game are basically um, they save a very low amount of time, but the risk of dying or the risk of failing that trick is like really huge, and then you lose all the time that you could uh, that you could have saved plus like ten or something. Like if you just don't die, <laughs> it's it's so good. So I restart the stage real quick. So there are like two fast ways of doing it. So first would be like this way and then doing a double handspring so on that platform that that's a bit slower but you can get quite consistent at it but i wouldn't recommend it like i used this strat for a very long time but that was actually a really dumb decision to be honest because it's not that more consistent than the other strat and with the other strat you can be one second faster so the way you wanna do the other strat is like hitboxes in this game are a bit fucked up so if you just land a bit on this platform here um, you can double handspring off of it so I just showed how it works this uh, this but oh I just just game over it. that's funny um, um, the tutorial is a place where you will reset most of the time, especially when you first um, learn this game. Like, actually, not e not that's not even like that's dumb because um, like you probably won't reset when you first start learning this game. But it's this tutorial is a place where you will reset many runs, and you cannot really do many any mistakes in the tutorial because if you do a mistake in the tutorial, it's most likely a death. Or you lose like a lot of time, which you cannot like take at the beginning. So you will see this those stages really often. So you want to avoid it. So this other, like the other strat in the stage I talked about, is a bit finicky. Like you have to be react instantly after the stage started. So that's the strat basically. So what I did there is. Like when the when the f when like uh, when the uh, um, stage started, I instantly um, mm, go in. I instantly jumped into handspring mode, and I pressed to the right so um, that I instantly l can land on the platform that's like the um, next higher platform. And when I landed on the next higher platform, I double handspring, uh, like I, 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 like didn't double handspring, so I just um, cancelled the handspring and went into another handspring to jump onto that platform, that uh, that uh, downward moving platform, to make a double handspring off of it. I probably explained it very poorly, but you will. Get the idea if you test, if you look at my strat and um, just try to replicate it. So and like that when I do when you do the stage like I did there, it's exactly the same speed as doing it like the other way. But you, when you have like really good timing, you can land on um, instantly on the finishing platform but that's really tough to do like I'm not I'm not getting that every try but you see this is really consistent I would and I would actually say it's more consistent than the other way but it's very it's really like I could imagine that when you first start playing this game it's a lot easier to do the other way because 
you aren't that familiar with like the, all the movements. So you just saw how I did the stage there. So it's really cool when it works like this. So the next um, stage, 04. Um, 04 is like a really dumb stage. Like depending on RNG, you will lose time. Like if you get r terrible RNG, you can lose like five seconds, and like you, you can cannot have that. So most likely, when you get bad RNG, the one will die at that point. So there's sort of RNG manipulation that you do at the beginning of the stream, at the beginning of the game to manipulate the RNG for the 04. But that of course doesn't work any ti every time because I'm not a ta like humans are not a task basically so um, you try to manipulate the RNG for all four I will show that how it works in after I showed how all four, wo all four works um, um, yeah you basically like you, you die pretty often to RNG to that stage so that's sort of huge like stage where you die so this first jump right here you can either go for a millisecond to the left and do a right backflip like this or I'm just dying real quick um, or you can walk um, to the right and do a left backflip to the right and then left backflip is a lot easier than doing like doing um, the other way when you first start but I would like I would uh, try to learn it like this because you get way more uh, you can clear all four way often because it works better out with the RNG so it's it's convenient that I just died here because I can show you all the stages again so I did the advanced strat here um, like four backflips basically in a row it's it's quite tough at the fir at, at first so here again Walking to the right, left backflip, right, left backflip. So I actually m made a like a sec the third backflip. I went to the left and then right and then left to the right backflip to um, to get closer to the ladder. I hope that made sense. It's probably really confusing. It's not that confusing, but if you play it, <laughs> it's just really difficult to say the inputs that you actually doing and those inputs that you do are actually quite confusing if you like like there are some how confusing so this will most likely always be your 03 it's really rarely that you get the other way like not rarely but it's it's common that you don't get it so so i show how to do 04 now L then you want to like like this basically <laughs> that wasn't perfect but that was almost perfect we basically want to do a like walk to the left do a right backflip then a left backflip then a right backflip walk down the ladder um, clear like the middle platform then do a left back uh, like right movement left backflip and then fall down to the um, like fall down to the um, like lowest platform to roll over the last gap so that's also important to know that you wa like want to fall roll over it basically I hope this is understandable like I'm really not sure but this like there's not really much that I can say about this like th certain things you have to understand like the movement when you um, play this game by yourself it's mo really like if you understand them like like it's really hard to like this game is really uh, input heavy I would say and not that much information like to, uh, like a link to the past so it's more like knowing what threats are there and how am I doing those movements that you just did there and that's that's what you kinda need to figure out for yourself but I can give you some tips on how to um, like do it better if that makes any sense so now comes the part for 04 RNG manipulation so when you see this this beginning screen like 
exactly this. Donkey Kong just destroyed the brick wall. I just saw it uh, again. Like, I start my game, and you see Donkey Kong is destroying um, the brick wall, and you see all those, like all those bricks, f like splashing around your screen. So, if you cancel that animation, the an RNG uh, is like different. Like, if you cancel this RNG like at a different time like if you always cancel the like like if you always cancel the animation at the exact moment you always will get the same RNG for like of 01 to 04 like I'm not really exactly sure how it works that's just what someone told me and it works so I'm not that like I don't know that much about it but I just how know how to manipulate it for for so um you want to try to cancel it in the middle of the animation like I can show it again like in the middle of the animation you want to cancel it this will line the RNG up that you t more likely to get past or for so there for example and you have to get a feeling for it and sometimes it will just doesn't work so it's not really that there you have to get a feel for this so is there anything left that I could say for the tutorial um, any not that much I think I don't think there is anything that I could left to say about the tutorial also um, Maybe um, if you really have trouble with the tutorial, because at first the tutorial tutorial really seems hard. It is definitely not easy. You can also just do the tutorial as it is intended. But to be honest, if you really want to learn a speed game, try the speed ga speed threads. But it depends on what you want um, to achieve in this game so I guess that's it for the part for the tutorial I hope I explained it well um, so see you next time in world 1